want to look at the pictures. I heard that the vibes are like scrumptious. <laughs> it's just a bit. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. Today is the start of a very, very exciting vlog because in this one, you're going to be breeding for 24 hours straight, but make it spooky. I have not done a 24 hour readathon since February, and then I was supposed to vlog it, but I forgot about vlogging it, so it just kind of never happened. <laughs> but we are doing this for our book club at Bryce's and Books. We, meaning me and Brittany, we have a live show later today, and I'm very excited. It is currently 1.47, and the readathon is supposed to start around 3.30 for me. 12.30 PST. Um, but I'm so excited. I It's gonna be so much fun. I have some books that I'm going to be getting from the library here shortly, and then I'll come back and talk about them. I hope I have enough time so I can start reading exactly at 3.30. And then we have the live show at 4.30. So the books that I have picked out, I feel like are perfectly curated for the vibes that we're going for. I was gonna draw a little bat on my face as well, but since I'm going to the library, I don't want to be perceived, you know, I don't want people to see the bat and be like, oh, why did this girl just leave a smudge of eyeliner on her face? I might put that on when we get back or just have it on for the live show. So that is the plan. I'm going to go pick up the books from the library and then come back and talk to you about them. And then we'll start our reading and then we'll do the live show. Also, this is going to be also kind of partly a sad vlog because it's going to be an, en an end of an era. I am getting a new phone. <laughs> I'm excited, but I'm very sad to be leaving this one behind because I'm doing a trade-in, so I can't keep this one. But we've been through so much together. Me and this phone have been through so much. It's time to get a new one. My battery life on this one sucks. Um, it's been acting up since iOS 17 has come out. Apple's just trying to make me upgrade my phone, but I was planning on doing it anyways. But we're gonna be doing that tomorrow, and this is gonna be my last full vlog on this phone. Not full, because I'm still gonna need to vlog more on the new one, but like, I'm sad to see this guy go. My iPhone 12, you've been good to me. Exciting vlog. Also gonna be sad, but very, very, very fun. So I'm going to finish getting ready so we can head over to the library and I will see you guys when we get back and we can start our spooky readathon for 24 hours. It's gonna be so much fun. I hope that I'm able to get a lot done because normally I don't really read too much and I'm not staying up for the full 24 hours. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't think my body is made for that anymore. I've only done that one time for a 24 hour readathon, and I don't think I could do that ever again. I don't think I'm built to do all nighters anymore. If you guys are participating, let me know what you guys are reading. back from the library already that was a very quick trip i ended up picking a book that i didn't even plan on getting today but i saw it and i couldn't pass it up from the library today i have picked up the glass witch by lindsay puckett this is very very small like just look at how thin <laughs> this is i'm gonna be able to fly through this book very quickly and it's just it's such a fun time and i was flipping through it look at how cute the freaking chapter headings are are you kidding me oh this one is gonna be really fun. I don't really know what this book is about at all, honestly, but um, The Odds is our best season books book club pick for October. So I thought I might as well read Lindsay Puckett's debut as well. And I've heard that this one is really fun and I love the cover and fellow redhead, you know, perfect vibes. And then I also picked up Pumpkinheads today and I have not read this yet. And it's funny because I accidentally made the same TBR that Brittany has. I didn't even do this intentionally. These are just ones that I thought would be good. Pumpkinheads, kind of copied off of her, but Glass Witch, I was gonna read anyways. Pumpkinheads, this is a graphic novel. I don't really know what it's about, but I've heard it's very, like, autumnal, and it's very easy to fly through. And since this is 24 hour readathon, you wanna read books really fast, you know? Read as many books as you can. The cover for this one is just very beautiful, and I'm excited for this one and to see what shenanigans these characters get up to. This book is not a part of the 24 hour challenge. Because you'll see in a second why it's not going to be included. A Day of Fall and Night by Samantha Shannon. Do you see how chonky this book is? I just picked this one up because I feel like it would be perfect to read in November. For some reason, this is just giving me November vibes. This is not going to be included in the 24-hour readathon, but I thought I might as well show you since I picked it up while I was at the library. But this one is very chunky. I'm pretty sure it's bigger than the first book was. And yeah, so 
but I'm excited for this one. I have gotten it before on my Kindle, but I never got around to actually reading it. Hopefully this time I will get around to it. Another potential that we have for today's readings is Masters of Death by Olive Blake. Now, I don't know if I'm going to actually be getting to this one in this vlog because I'm gonna be buddy reading this with my friend Kirsten. I'm gonna have to consult with her before I decide if I'm going to read this one. But this one I feel like would take a lot longer to get through because it's an adult novel, the font is a lot smaller, and it is 387 pages. Those are all the reading options. I feel like if I finish The Glass Witch and Pumpkin Heads really fast, I will probably try to see if I can find something on my Kindle or just pick up some audiobooks so I can have other things to fall back on. But I was hoping to also read The Odd, but um, my hold didn't come in yet, and I think it's still in transit. And then I had another graphic novel that I wanted to read, which was The Garlic and the Vampire, which looks so cute, and that is also in transit. But those are the main reading plans. That is the, the tea. Um, so now I just have to wait for the readathon to start. I might make some food before. So I am fueled. <laughs> I'm very excited for the reads that I have ahead. I'm so proud of myself for vlogging it this time. So I'm gonna wait. <laughs> for the time to start maybe make some food and then read and then we'll do the live show and yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun I'm holding my phone and it feels so weird. I don't usually film vlogs like this anymore, but hi. I am now 57 pages. Yeah, I'm on now page 57 of The Glass Witch and it's going well so far. We just hit the catalyst and good soup. I really love Lindsay's writing style. It feels very silly and goofy. And she, I feel like she's captured like the middle grade voice perfectly. I'm having a really good time with this book and I'm so excited. I'm now just waiting on Brittany so we can do our live show. So I feel like it's not going to be that long because I do have to leave around like 5 45 and we're starting supposed to be starting at 4 30 so it's probably not going to be that long of a live show but I'm still excited to do sprints with everybody. This cover is just I can't get over it and like even just like look at the back. Hello it's so good. Yeah, having a great time with this. I'll probably give you more concrete thoughts tonight when I'm further into it. I just felt like I should do a little update clip, but I'm going to read some more while I wait for Brittany. I'll see y'all later. Bye. accidentally setting the camera to slow-mo and I'm so glad that I catch it before I film because <laughs> that would been not be fun to deal with. Hi everyone, so it is now 9.44 p.m. and I have finished my first book. I actually finished this around 8. I ended up going with Dev to the soccer thing that he had. I haven't really seen him play soccer much so I was very interested to watch him play. So while he was playing I was watching and reading. So it took me a little bit longer to finish this book than I thought it was going to just because I was multitasking. The live show was so much fun. We didn't really do much sprints because I had to leave very quickly but it was such a good time and I figured out how to do these cool little effect things and I discovered it on accident and I completely completely lost my mind. <laughs> it was just so much fun and the chats were so good. But he was reading like spooky books. It was it was such a good time. I had a great time with it. We definitely need to do more reading sprints because it was such a fun vibe. I finished this book, as I said, and I wrote down some thoughts. I adored this book. I gave it a 5 out of 5. <laughs> no hesitation there. Complete 5 out of 5. Perfect vibes. I love the characters. Everything about it, amazing. I haven't finished a book in one day in so long, so I feel very proud of myself. Granted, this is a very skinny book, but you know, I finished one in a day and we're gonna be doing more. It was so fun, the humor was spot on, 
and I felt like I was physically there with Fatima and Addy. It was just everything. It was so good. And their friendship, it's so good. I miss like young friendships. Like when you're little, there's just like a certain magic to it because you just like, you fall in love with each other and like you just love the friendship and you cherish it. And like you you can know each other for a few days and you're already best friends. There's just some magic in childhood friendships that's just like so good. <laughs> I feel for our main character so much. Basically her whole life she has just felt like she was like a burden on her family and that she was like a cursed which is explained more in the book so I'm not gonna go too deep into that. She felt like she was just a curse and so she ended up actually making a curse happen which is kind of silly goofy. Oh and the title The Glass Witch. I did not know what that meant but then once I found out what it meant so good and she did a really good job at portraying like the danger that she was in and like the danger that this thing that happened is going to cause and how it's going to make everything so much harder and even i myself was a little bit scared and i've said this before when i read city of ghosts by ve schwab but i would be if i read that when i was like the targeted age group which is like 12 like middle school age i would have been terrified out of my mind and the same goes for this one i would have been so scared if i read this when i was 12 or 13 because it's just so spooky and back then i was a little bit of a scaredy cat kind of still am but back then even more so there were a few lines though that made me want to like shrivel up and, and disappear into nothingness because it, they were just so gross but i feel like that was the intention with them to kind of show how scary the villain is and just like how everything like happened but like the way it was worded made me feel very weird on the inside like in a good way i guess <laughs> like it portrayed the message very well the vibes made sense but like yuck <laughs> and one of my favorite favorite things was the mention of like addy like scheming and like being a villainous and a henchman i was like actually giggling out loud and towards the end i actually read the scene when i was out but there was a scene where her and fatima were trying to make a baby cry and it, it was just everything to me like i was giggling so hard and i feel like from an outside perspective i probably looked a little bit well, silly it sounds kind of bad out of context but within the context of the book it makes sense of like why they need a baby to cry <laughs> um, and why they're trying so hard to make this baby sob. Page 171, so good. Um, Let me read it. So they were just talking about like how the world sees them. This is Fatima talking and she said, the world isn't ready for girls like us for dark skin and curves, but it changes a little each time we don't back down. We strut on our skin and proud and sassy. And if someone says we don't like it, we tell them to eat dirt. You have to decide you're worth something, then you are. Simple as that. So what do you say? Are you ready to go on stage and change the world? If I would have read this book when I was like 13 or 12, I know that scene, I know that paragraph would have spoke volumes. I know how much this book is going to mean to like younger audiences because the themes that are in here, they're interwoven like very easily and like in a way that's easy to digest and understand. And I feel like it's just so important. So I had a great time with this book. Like I said, five out of five. I would definitely recommend if you guys are looking for a fun, spooky, very action packed, very fast paced middle grade book. This has everything in it for you. I promise you won't be disappointed. I'm already excited to read this again and now I'm even more excited to read The Odds. Like, Lindsay Puckett, amazing, amazing author. <laughs> so, so far in this vlog, we have read 200 and I think 11. Yeah, we have read 211 pages and I also really liked the acknowledgements in this book. Very good. And then as you saw, I started reading Every Heart and Doorway and I read a single page. <laughs> so 212 pages we have read so far in this 24 hours and I am very excited. I'm going to take a little bit more of a break because me and Dev are in the middle of watching a video. But after that, I will get back into reading and I think I'm going to pick up pumpkin heads because I think that's, I want a little bit I want pictures. <laughs> I want to look at pictures. I'm having so much fun with this vlog. It's just been, the vibes have been great and I'm just in such a good mood. Like I just love reading and spending time with my friends. So I'm going to go finish this video and then I will see you guys when I start reading pumpkin heads and look at some pretty pictures. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Also, I forgot to mention earlier, but I remembered that I have two more books on my Kindle that I can read for the spooky 24 hour readathon. I have Every Heart of Doorway, which as you saw, I already started, but I forgot to mention it. And then I have The Cemetery Boys, which during the live show, I mentioned those two books. Lisa said Every Heart of Doorway is perfect for a 24 hour readathon because it's very short. And then everybody else had very strong reactions to The Cemetery Boys and like saying that it's like so good. So those two, definitely gonna have to start. Every Heart of Doorway I have already started, but I think tomorrow I will delve deeper into Cemetery Boys. I have started it before, but I haven't finished it, obviously, but I heard that the vibes are like scrumptious. So that one, I will start tomorrow and I'm very, very excited.
time is it? 12.30. It is now 12.30. As you saw in the clip, I changed my shirt earlier because it was a bit toasty in here, but now I'm getting cold again. <laughs> so we're back in the long sleeve. I have red and I have finished pumpkin heads. And this was such a cute story. I give this a four out of five. I enjoyed it, but I don't think it's like a favorite, you know? But you know, that could change in the morning. <laughs> I could wake up and give this a different rating because I'm like, getting a little bit sleepy. It was so cute. The vibes were amazing. There was one, yeah, this ghost right here. Love him. Also, why did anyone tell me my hair looks crazy? We're just gonna ignore that. I can't. I couldn't see that my hair was in the wild there because the the recording time was in the way. Oh now I look like funny. <laughs> Anyways, the vibes were so good. I loved the little adventure that they went on. What this graphic novel is about is about these two characters. We got Deja and Josiah, and they have been working at this pumpkin patch i think is it a pumpkin patch or just like a festival thing they have been working at this pumpkin patch their whole high school career i guess high school is not really a career but their whole time in high school and this is like their last day on the job and so they are determined to get little josiah here to talk to his crush that he has had this whole time and so they go on a whole fiasco to try to find her and to talk to her so he can confess his undying love for her but you know things don't end up going the way that they plan so they have to go on an adventure to find where she is and it just keeps keeps going and there was a scene where they were dancing in the corn maze <laughs> best thing i've ever seen it was so beautiful the colors are very perfect they talked about fall and like the smell of fall and it was so good and fall is my favorite season i talk about it all the time and i feel like i mention it a lot um but fall is just the best season superior to all so it was i had yeah it was a fun time <laughs> also i still haven't hung up the heart stopper leaves which is an update from my last vlog but i this this is the new filming angle but like imagine how freaking cute it would be with the heart stopper leaves behind me and just like maybe bats but i really liked the art style too um, not just like the color scheme used, but like the art itself. I feel like the characters are stunning and I like how like the structure on their face is more like doodle-like. Some of the panels, there were like elements that like come out of the panel so it looks like it's kind of like popping more and I really like that. Um, also another character that I really liked, let me find him. I think his name was Tim. He was a little guy in a glow-in-the-dark skeleton costume with a pumpkin mask and I thought he was really fun. This was my favorite panel of him. <laughs> It's just so good. He's just a silly little guy. I'm pretty sure his name is Tim. Oh, Todd. Sorry, Tim was a different man. Todd. Yeah, look at him. Todd is a vibe. <laughs> Second book finished for the 24-hour readathon. I am going to take off my makeup and get ready for bed here soon, but I'm probably going to read a chapter or two of Every Heart a Doorway, and then tomorrow I will also be starting Cemetery Boys. So it's gonna be fun. I'm so proud of myself. Two books down. Who is she? I mean, granted, they are pretty small, and that one was literally a graphic novel. But, you know, two books still in a day. Not even, like, a day. It's only been... What time is it? When did I start this? started at 3.30, right? Mm -hmm. How many hours is that? Six? <laughs> Six plus... It's a nine? <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, nine hours, sorry. <laughs> I was sleepy, okay. Nine hours I read two books, which I could have done it faster, but I had a little bit of distractions today. But you know, I think it's good. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna get ready for bed, read a couple chapters of this, and I'll probably see you guys with updates in the morning. I'm also getting kind of sad and feeling a little bit emotional because this is my last night with my iPhone 12. <laughs> it has nothing to do with this video, but it's my last night with this phone, and it's bittersweet. Like, I'm excited to get a new one, but I'm so sad to see this one go. Like all the memories i'm still gonna have this phone case <laughs> and like the decorations that i did on the back so i can kind of have the the shadow of what it used to be it'll be a, a little ghost of this phone that's <laughs> what the phone case will be i'm going to go now take off my makeup and read and then sleep and i'll see you guys in the morning with updates i guess i'll have some updates if i'm gonna be reading um with updates and then we will also be starting cemetery boys tomorrow which is gonna be so fun and we're going until 3 30 tomorrow but it'll probably be cut a little bit short for me since we have to leave here at 1. So it'll be cut a little bit short, but in my time before we leave, I will be doing some reading. And I will try to wake up at a decent hour. That is my updates. That is all for me. I'm going to skedaddle and do the things I said I was going to do. And I will see you in the morning. Good night.
Hi, everybody. <laughs> so it is much later. The readathon has been long over. It is currently 11 p.m. on Wednesday. Day got away from me. It has been a day today, <laughs> let me tell you. I have really been putting my waterproof makeup, my waterproof eyeliner and mascara to the test recently. I shed more tears <laughs> earlier today. Um, but you know, it's held, it's holding up really well. You know, five out of five stars to this makeup. <laughs> and I didn't really get to finish the readathon very strong. The appointment at Apple took a lot longer than I expected it to. And then there was a whole fiasco after we got home of me just trying to log into my accounts because I don't want to talk about it because <laughs> it's still like a fresh wound, you know, so that took like hours Um, but you know, we got the phone. Look at how pretty she is Ooh, Natural titanium coin. Look at how stunning. Absolutely gorgeous I'm filming this on Dev's phone specifically so I can show you how beautiful this phone is and I definitely did take a selfie <laughs> with my phone Um, not like a mirror selfie like you would think which I definitely should have just done that But I took Dev's phone and took a picture of me holding my phone like this and making a frowny face <laughs> to commemorate She is a beauty. She is grace. I don't know if I should name her if you guys have name suggestions, definitely let me know. But this phone is online, like when they did like the Apple event. It looked more like beigey cream color, but it is very much just gray. But you know, I love a good neutral gray vibe. It's so good. I guess we'll talk about reading. Um, as I said, did not finish up the readathon very strong, but I did start another book. So I read two and a half, basically. So last night I read nearly to 2 a.m. reading Every Heart a Doorway. Didn't even realize time is passing. It was so good. I was a little bit confused at first and I don't really understand what is happening. It's kind of just going over my head, but like, it's fun. It's a fun time. And like, I'm kind of, I'm getting it a little bit, but like I still, I'm really confused. But I think that is intended. Like you're supposed to just kind of find out along the way and be confused. Because even our main character, Nancy, is confused. And I'm like, all right, girly, I'm glad I'm not the only one because I, I don't get it. I didn't even know anything about this book when I first started it, but it is about like these girls and a few boys who find like random doors and they go through these portals and find like a whole different world and they get stuck, sucked in. And then once they get kicked out of the world, they're kind of like, oh, that was kind of fun, I wanna go back. But they're kind of stuck in the normal world because they got kicked out. So there's like this boarding school that kind of takes them in and helps them learn to move on from it and still like not f like not forget it and not like try to pretend it never happened because obviously it happened. We don't like gaslighting. <laughs> so it's kind of trying to help them come to terms that like, yes, it did happen, but it's not very possible for you to go back. And so far I'm really liking the vibes. It's very fun. So I read some of this, I read this until nearly 2 a.m. last night. And then I read some more this morning before we had to leave and all that stuff. And I am almost halfway through. I definitely could have finished this if I, if we didn't have plans earlier today, but you know, starting it, Starting it and getting halfway through is better than nothing. But I'm really wanting to continue this tonight. So I'm definitely going to. And I did not have the chance to start Cemetery Boys. Brittany corrected me. <laughs> it's not the Cemetery Boys. It's just Cemetery Boys. I felt like a silly goose after that. Because I was texting her about it. She's like, I like how you keep calling it the Cemetery Boys. And I was like, um, <laughs> is that not what it's called? And so I was corrected. There's no the. It's just Cemetery Boys. Plain and simple. <laughs> I think I'm going to start it sometime this week. Because I'm still feeling the vibes. You know, I like a good, I want a good spoon spooky book and that one takes place in a graveyard how it can't get more spooky than that <laughs> definitely starting that but i had such a fun time with this readathon i didn't read nearly as much as i wanted to but that's okay you know life happens but the vibes were so good it was it was so good <laughs> i definitely need to do one of these again for spooky time because it's just it was just perfect i'm wearing purple today you know to kind of purple feels like a spooky october color to me it just reminds me of witches <laughs> So we're wearing purple today in commemoration of the 24 hour readathon. So we got two books and then we've started another one. So I will give you a quick rundown of my thoughts just in case you forgot. <laughs> the Glass Witch, this was the first book we finished. This one was 211 pages and I finished this in about six hours. Definitely could have done it faster. Then we picked up Pumpkin Heads, which this is a graphic novel. This one is 209 pages. That is about, let me do some quick calculations i can't do quick math in my head as we saw last night so we got 211 plus 209 that is 400 420 420 pages right there and then we started every heart a doorway and let me see how many pages we got into of this one 71 pages of this one so 420 plus 71 um, reread 491 pages in 24 hours i'm really proud of that number i feel like it's very good and it's better than i did last time in february which still feels like it didn't really happen because i didn't document it i need to do more 24 hour readathons i think the next 24 thing i do is gonna be 
like with the stopwatch method. I tried that before with Tokyo Ghoul, didn't really work because I kind of forgot about the stopwatch, but I feel like it would be really fun to see how much I actually read within a 24 hour span of like just consistent reading. Not like 24 hours straight of just reading because I would probably not be good. <laughs> 24 hours timed how much I could read. That would be a very fun experiment. <laughs> so that is it for this vlog. Thank you guys so much. I don't even know how long this video is gonna be because unedited, it is around 40 minutes right now. It's gonna be fun editing because I like to edit as I go. I did not have time to edit as I went. It's gonna, I feel like it's gonna be a mess and chaotic, but I'm excited for the vibes. <laughs> I had such a good time with this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys got up to in this 24 hour readathon if you were participating. Let me know what you guys been reading. You're ready for Halloween. If you have any, spooky halloweeny book recommendations <laughs> please let me know because i am on the lookout for those and i'm just really feeling the halloween spirit thank you guys so much for watching if you made it to this point in the video i love you so so much comment down below the bat emoji or the purple heart emoji you get to pick which one you want to comment this time which i think is a fun task all of my socials will be linked in the description as always and i will see you guys in my next video take care of yourselves and happy halloween because i'm posting this on halloween <laughs> um love you guys bye